Welcome everyone to our 20th Fireside Chat. I'm Tim Hollick and with me as always is my good friend Joe Zinni. Good afternoon Tim. How are you brother? This is, this is great. This is, uh, I love this stuff. This is uh, this is what we should have been doing for the last 40 years. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. We probably should have. We probably have something big by now, right? Yeah, we'd probably be sitting in Barbados. <laughs> Drink or be dead. Or yeah, I'm one of the. Yeah. Um, I, I enjoy these. Um, I've been running into people lately and talking to them. Uh, I just ran into a sister of a friend the other night at a car show. Mm -hmm. Talked to her a little bit about it, and uh, uh, Stephen and Kevin Webb is younger sister, Christine. Yeah, yeah. And I told her about it. And she said, "Send me them. Put them right on my wall when you mm -hmm. make them." So cool. she's really interested in looking at them. But people are starting to get see them on Facebook and whatnot. They're starting to get used to seeing our faces. Yeah. Um, I mean, I think we're talking about some good subjects here. What are we talking about today? We're going to talk about something that's totally opposite of what we always talk about. We're going to talk about relaxing. Ooh. <laughs> going to your happy place, getting away from it all, and finding a way of, of making it go away. Um, relaxing of the mind. I mean, tell me where you take your mind. Not necessarily running away, but take your mind and relax. Where do you go? Well, it's funny because to me, working hard the reward becomes that much better. Sure. It's like if you're not really doing as much in life and you do something pleasurable, it's not as pleasurable because you, didn't, you haven't been exerting. But I, I like to go to that happy place after I've worked hard. I've put a lot of hours in yeah. and I appreciate it more. But my happy place is just being somewhere different, new experience. It doesn't have to be across the country or no. across the world. It could be in Boston. It could be somewhere around here. Um, I like to bring my mind, the first set of my mind is really just, wow, I'm doing something different yep. or I'm doing something I have fun at. So you have to relish in that. You just can't do it numbly. A lot of people do things and they don't appreciate. You know, I've made my comments to you before, maybe on here too, is I enjoy, you know, a Saturday morning in my house or a Friday afternoon laying in my pool in a raft with either a, a, a good glass of water or a good beer or yeah, something. Sure. And I just like to sit there in the thing and, and, the, and the pool pump makes you just keep moving around the pool. And I look at my house, I look at the shape of the back, I look at the trees. It's so beautiful. You have to relish. So first you have to put your mindset to, hey, this is something you got to appreciate. Time to shut down and appreciate the small things. But funny, my mind goes the opposite way after that. Now it starts to get creative with business ideas. Yeah. That motivates me. Yeah. Not to say I'm working. But you're relaxing doing I'm it. I'm relaxing yeah. doing that. Now my mind becomes more creative when I'm happy like that. And it's amazing the things I see. And I'm like, ooh, there's a thought that I could be doing this. So to me, that's pleasurable. So it's kind of the opposite. I'm having fun relishing. It was like being up north, you know, last weekend for the long weekend. Right. I just relish in the fact that we were driving around looking at the sea. I look, I, I think as I get older, I look about, I look to things differently. I start looking at the nature better. Um, you know, sitting in a, in a bar having, you know, something to eat. Because lots of times we eat in the bar, but sometimes we eat in the dining room pot too. In the morning we're in the dining room pot. Sure. For breakfast. But it's all about where you bring your mindset. Appreciate that you're taking some time off, and I think you'll enjoy it more. We did, uh, I mean, growing up, we've, we, you know, we was, everything was fun and games, but when we first started working, you know, we would relax by doing probably even more busier things. I mean, how many times we said we had to go back to work to get a break from our vacations because we ran out. I think we appreciate relaxing a lot more now than we ever had. And like you said, a simple thing like driving the car, looking at nature, or laying in your pool and staring at the, at the clouds and whatnot, it doesn't necessarily have to be a big thing. Right. Some people think that they have to, you know, get in a plane and go somewhere. Oh, yeah. Sometimes just getting away is, is, like you said, sitting outside, listening to the birds, yeah. first thing in the morning, having a coffee or a beer or a water, and listening to the birds, just getting your mind to relax. Right. It's important. But you're also being creative. Because I like doing that. Sure. That to me is pleasurable. I like thinking of ideas. Yeah. Uh, but Covey says you got to sharpen the saw. If you don't sharpen the saw, it's like you know you go by this person there chopping at a tree and sawing and sawing and sawing, you know, and, and you finally after a few hours say to me, I haven't really gotten that far. Did you sharpen that saw? No, I've been too busy to. Right. Well, 
He would have got through that tree a lot quicker. Well, you're missing out on things. Too. Right, exactly. Yeah, you got to take time to do that. So that was a great analogy. Yep. I like analogies of you know how you compare things. I try to do that when we're talking because it, it puts into perspective. It's like, ooh, I didn't think of it that way. You know, but you have to relish in the fact that you're taking some time off. What I like about vacations, it's mindless to me. Now we do things, but it's no planned stuff. Perfect. You just, it's mindless. It's funny, towards the end of a vacation, I kind of want to get back to work, but then when I get home and it's the night before work, you know what I miss then and then the first few days of work? What I was doing the week before that I was doing nothing. But that's, a, that's a great thing too because it's, it's kind of mindless. I, I work my mind a lot at work and even in my off time lots of times because I'm always thinking and doing things or doing extra things. But the fact that you just doing. There was nothing that says you have to be here at this time. No time schedule. Yeah. That you want to eat at 9, eat at 9. When you eat at 10, eat at 10. That automatically makes it relaxing when you're not on a time schedule. You don't have to yeah. anywhere. I agree. Where do you go? Where is your favorite place if you're really physically going to get away? Where do you like to go? I know you went to India last year, which was really nice for you. Yeah, that was something different for us. I mean, I didn't know what that vacation was going to be like because I've never been to Europe. So I think there was a little anxiety in that too, thinking about it. I don't, I don't think it was the fact that it was going to be away two weeks. It was more the fact that I didn't know yeah. what I was going to be doing if I would enjoy it. I figured I would, but I think there was something in there being for two weeks saying, hey, I hope I like this. Yeah. So, but you know, I like to, I like to get away. I'll be leaving Thursday for Texas for Mary's graduation, yeah. my brother John's daughter. But you, you know, know, you go to yeah, San Antonio. Yeah, exactly. And I like to go to San Antonio and relax. We do fun things. We model snoop. We call it model snooping. We go to homes that are being built in neighborhoods. Those neighborhoods are thousands of homes, yeah. not tens of homes. Right. Thousands of homes. So they always have models in each section. Yeah. And we like, we got model snoopers. We go, you know what, ideas in those models. And yet you're relaxed. Because it brings you in a happy place. Absolutely. I look at creative things in the house because I'm a house person. Yes, you are. I'm all about having a nice house because I enjoy it. Not because I'm trying to show off. The details. Like yeah. The, the way they do a kitchen, the details, the architecture. That's mainly my pictures are architecture. Yeah. Because I love that old yeah. work. So that's my happy place because it brings a smile to my face, it makes my heart feel good, and I enjoy it. And then it brings me to that creative side, which is me. That's who I am. So I, I, I ignite that creative side by being away, even if it's just going to Boston on a Saturday. We go to Boston, we hang around Faneuil Hall, we go over to you know, the Marriott Wharf area, we sit there at the nice. wharf, we watch you people watch, we listen to people doing outdoor stuff like singing or acrobats or whatever, you know, you've always got the people there doing yeah. that stuff in there. And grab a bite to eat again another one. Grab a bite to eat, yeah, we go to the North End, which is short oh, walk up the street. There's nothing like that. No, there's not. We that's did that a happy place. That was a fun day. We went out last year. And yeah, that's right. You met us in there. Nothing, nothing bothered us. Nothing was on our mind the whole time we were there. We got to enjoy we the to restaurant. We got to uh, We loved it there. Yeah, it was great. I mean, but, you know, sometimes people need to realize that, you know, Relaxing or taking a break or anything is not necessarily being lazy. It is sharpening the saw. You're getting yourself ready to get back into the game again. You know, not everyone can Especially work. when it's a vacation. No, lots of times I only take these long weekends, like a Thursday to a Monday. I left Friday a week before last and come back Monday because that was long. But I did take, you know, Friday off and I didn't do the radio show because traffic. Yeah. Traffic would have stressed me out. I would have started yeah. it off because yeah. people say, "Well, why do you get stressed out?" I just do. Yeah. When I just want to get there. Believe it or not, exactly. That you know me. Yeah. I've already I'm got it in my head there. what time I'm going to be there because I, I know what time I'm leaving. I'm like at three fifteen. I'm going to be already put my stuff in my thing. I'm going to be at the bar or I'm going to be down at the jacuzzi. I right. have that in my head. If I don't get there till five fifteen, I beat myself. Yeah. So he says, I'm not going. You feel like you lost two hours, yeah. and, that, and that's not relaxing at all. That's no. why, you know, I start off bad. Like, like you know, you tripped in. Yeah. You know, losing my luggage, missing the plane, and nowhere. All that stuff stressed me out. Yeah. I was crazed. Yeah. But that's my personality. I'm. I've already pictured in my mind what I thought was going to be. I try to overcome it. It's just that's my personality. I str I struggle with that. Same thing with vacations. I should take more vacations. Yeah. I take enough. I wish I could take more, but you know, I'm still busy. I still have things I gotta accomplish. And Absolutely. people say, well, your yeah, family life's important too. It is, I always make my family important, but my business life is important also because it's what feeds us. Yeah, 
you know, and it's what, where I'm trying to go in life, you, you just can't step back and take your foot off And it's path. funny because people think owning your own business, you can take vacations <laughs> anytime. Ah, uh, it doesn't work that yeah, way. Yeah, it doesn't work that you way. Know, so relaxing is very important to you because you don't, it is a cherished moment for you. Yeah. Um, I don't like a busy vacation. I know it was the busiest vacation other than Disney, you know, you almost need a week off yeah. after two weeks, and it's all you're doing on it. Well, that's a tour I went on. And you're, you're running. Every constantly. two days, you're going to another spot and getting up early in the morning, having your bags out by quarter of seven, uh, breakfast till eight, that's be on the bus by eight o'clock. We're going to leave it all here. It was, it was constantly running every two days. But, but I, I mean, the idea of relaxing is not to have the time to go. We did 60 miles that week between airports and Italy, okay. walking. Yeah. You know, I wasn't tired, really. I actually was refreshed when I got back. But I usually like a more relaxing where I, I lay around a little bit more. Yeah. Um, I just need some days of that yeah. because that helps me. Right. Because I, I work hard. I work a lot. You do. I do probably work more than I should sometimes. It's a, it's my nature. I It feeds my soul there, too. But I've also seen you take a break, go to the beach. Oh, yeah. And, and, and be, have that totally relax. happy place. I've seen you come back and say, well, I'm glad I, I've done that. Yeah. Either getting off the beach or you know, post later on saying went to the beach today and was able to clear my mind. Yep. I mean, sometimes it just takes that. And people need to, you know, as you get further into business or into life, right. you need to learn to relax a little bit because you know right. you're dead for a long time. So enjoy some time. Well, I tell my employees the same thing when they're going on vacation. Well, I'll have my phone on me. I'm going to check my messages. Go check your messages. That's what we're here for. Right. Go on vacation. Right. Have fun. Rest up and be ready when you come back. Right. That's all I ask. You don't need to bring work. If you need to bring work, you're not doing your job right, or you're not communicating right before you leave. You know, I have to tell people I think that's a lot the of things piece. before I leave. Yeah, that's the piece. I think you don't communicate before you leave. It's not doing your job right because you know you got a good crew here. Yeah. It's chances are they want to try and do too much. Communicate that to others. Have some delegate somebody to somebody else, and someone's going to take care of it. We're all good. We there, always right? do. Yeah, absolutely. You know, so don't. I don't want you to take your phone. I don't. I mean, I'm gonna say take your phone, but don't be checking messages. Yeah. Well, there's nothing that important. We do kitchens. Yeah. We don't do bills. Yeah. I know he's gonna download it. Yeah. Hopefully. Yeah. We hope that. So talk to me, and you start. We we started touching on that a little bit. And how do you stop feeling guilty about the fact that you <laughs> are in a happy place and you are taking some time for yourself? I mean, that's a key thing. Because if you're feeling guilty about it, you might as well be here. You're right. And I started that way off back in. Late 90s, early 2000s, I had my first physical. And that's when we grew a lot here. From 95 to 99, we grew about a quarter of a million dollars a year. From 99 to 2001, we grew about three to four million dollars. And that's, it was a crazy time. I was doing everything, managing, selling, uh, uh, doing this, doing that. I did a lot of stuff. And my doctor told me after the first, he says, I've never seen such a worn out body in my life from all the tests. He says, you either do something about it, you're not going to be around long. Well, that woke me up. Sure. So my first step was to take a half a day on Fridays off. Yeah. The, the second half of the day, we have to do. That was very tough at first. I'd be sitting there like, well, what do I do? Because I didn't have anything else. I was working all the time. So I started hiking. Hiking became my life. So every Friday afternoon, when you see me up at Blue Hills. Perfect. So I had a purpose. When you don't have, it's like retirement. If you don't have something to do, you're going to be bored, you're going to die. Yeah. Because a lot of people do die when they stop. I've seen people in a very short amount yeah. of time because they no longer feel productive. That internal peace goes to their yeah. mind and they just wither away. Then the next, that summer, I just thought I was going to take for the whole summer the whole day off of Fridays. This was way before the radio show. Yeah. I'd wake up in the morning, I'd be walking around the house after eating, and I'd be like twirling my thumb. Well, I actually found myself many times saying, what am I going to do? I found something. I got back into hobbies, you know, yeah. doing things. Yeah. Like I said, hiking, fishing. All of a sudden, I didn't want to miss those Fridays. I, didn't, I would be mad if I couldn't take my Friday afternoon off again. Right. Sometimes I couldn't. Sometimes I had to have appointments. Yeah, sure. I actually yeah. hated it because I felt I was giving something up. So you've got to get through it mind-wise at first. But when you do, when you find some other interests, you'll see what I'm talking about. Sure. You'll start to enjoy it. You'll start to create other things. It creates that other place to go. It's not just work. You don't just go home to eat and sleep. 
it's some hooked up to do. And leave the guilt. And leave the guilt. Right. Leave the, the guilt. guilt. Yeah. But I did have guilt at first, I gotta say. Yeah. Um, but with all that stuff, training your mind, having something fun, now you feel mad, not guilty, when you don't do it. Yeah. That's, I can, that's, that's all good. I can say. Is that's, that's all I felt. That's, that's a good thing. Now you know that mm. you're looking forward to it. One quick last thing. Retirement, you talked you talk a little bit about it. <laughs> Where is your happy place when you retire? And we know that it's not going to be total retirement. But. Yeah, because a happy place retirement is not going to be just completely doing it unless I can't physically or mentally do it. Um, but to me, it's traveling. I want to travel more. I would love to drive across the country with my Tesla. I'd like to drive <laughs> all around the country with my Tesla. Because it would be a game to me to make sure I, I get across there as charging. You know, hopefully by then I own one that has a little higher mileage, yeah. uh, you know, thing. But also at the same time, I need to be thinking of something commerce-wise, whether it's my own little business, and that's why I'm in the coffee company, that's why I do the, the um, uh, credit company too, is because I can do that anywhere I'm at. I need to keep my mind busy because that's important. I think I just said that to somebody yesterday that that's important to me to keep my mind busy. If I do retire, we've had this conversation. Commerce is big to me. Yeah, it's an excitement to me. It is. It's capitalism. It's it's. I don't know. I can't explain it. I know not everybody's going to feel it, but you find your happy place of what it is. But to me, while I'm away having fun, it's okay to be looking at stocks. It's okay to be calling about something else. It's okay to take a call from somebody that might want the coffee or need credit help and things like that. To me, that's empowering. So it's not going to be a total rest unless God says I can't physically do it anymore. If I'm sick, I, I got no choice. Yep. But I'll still have to do something. Change. Exactly. exactly. Right. I'll have to do something while I'm laying there, maybe, because I, I don't. I'm not a good person to be around. <laughs> I have to lay around. No, and I mean, I think a lot of people that stay busy and they and they do the things that you do and have the talks that we have. It's 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 all part of that. It's you know we go all the way back to our second video of talking about purpose. You have to have that right. purpose and that's one thing you're going to continue. You just change a lot of your values when you've right. retired. You you still are semi-working, but it's not that, again, up at Every five, got to be yeah. here, got to meet with that. It comes and, and goes as you want it to do. Yeah. That's part of your retirement. No schedules will no be retired. retired to me. It'd be just like my happy place. But isn't it funny how well we talk about, it all revolves around the same type of things. Sure. It's just all tied together, and that's what life's all about, and that's what we're here to do, to help people open their minds so they get that satisfaction of life finally, because a lot of people live a life, there's no satisfaction, and it's sad, because everybody can contribute to something, whether it's a charity for themselves, whatever it is. You just gotta find that and enlighten that in your spirit. And I guarantee you, you're a much different person. I've seen people do it over the last so many years, be on Facebook and it makes me happy because yeah. if I can make that many more people smile and be happy about their life in some ways, I'm a happy person. Sure. And then, I mean, again, it's all part of relaxing. Yeah. Uh, we hope you got something out of it. Again, it was a little different than we usually do. We're talking about taking some downtime, but that's also important, sharpening the saw. Uh, our next video, 21, is about making decisions and the consequences. Cool. I like that. Yeah, absolutely. Have a great afternoon, everyone. Thanks well. for joining us. We have a great time. Take care.